12 racks on a Rolex. Bomb, new GLE. Give me the 10K now. Okay, we got private jet there. <laughs> we give three of you 10 grand each. Girl, I really are, so give me a call. Get in, pay bar, we get in, paid in full. Have you ever dreamed of winning the lottery? Having enough money to live a life of luxury and buy whatever your heart desires? Well, this past week, I just managed to do that without spending a penny. Hello, I'm Johnny, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I fooled 99% of my Instagram followers into thinking that I'd won big on the lottery. Basically, my plan for this was to make my Instagram followers believe I'd won the Euro millions, and I wanted to keep this up for at least a week with each day buying something or doing something more and more extravagant, less and less believable. And I'm gonna show you now how I did this. Before we get into the video, let's see if we can smash 20,000 likes. Smash the like button right now, be much appreciated. And yeah, let me show you a little insight on how I fooled loads of you into thinking that I had won the Euro Millions for a week. Let's get into the video. Right, you lot, today is Tuesday the 12th of March, and today is also a very special day, because today is the day I win the Euro Millions. Now, tonight's draw for the Euro Millions, the, uh, the prize is just a small prize, you know, of 63 million pounds. So basically, the way I'm gonna work around this is, is the lottery numbers get picked at 8 p.m. So then, as soon as the winning numbers are picked, I'm gonna go to my local co-op, say the numbers are picked at eight on the dot, yeah? At 8.01, I'm gonna go to my local co-op and buy a Euro Millions ticket for Friday with the same numbers that just won. The time is currently 2.30, uh, you'll see me later today, 8 p.m and the numbers have been drawn. This waiting game was actually killing me. Like, I remember being so nervous. I was waiting around like I was genuinely waiting for the Euro Millions to call out my numbers, even though I didn't even have a ticket. Right, so right now, it is 10 past eight, and no lottery's been drawn yet. I've checked on my phone. Numbers ain't been drawn yet. It says Euro Millions gets drawn around 8.30, so I'm just gonna wait till then. Keep refreshing my phone. I just wanna get the numbers instantly so I can go shop. By the way, ignore the vest. I just went to the gym. That's why I'm wearing the vest. Right, so the numbers have just come through. It didn't even show up on the TV for some reason. But it's now 8.35. I've checked on various websites, and these are the winning numbers. I'll shut up on screen right now. I'll take a screenshot on my phone, literally right now, and I'll go on screen the winning numbers. So now I'm gonna go off to co-op and buy the exact same numbers for Friday's draw. Fingers crossed this works. Now, obviously, I did have some doubts about this working purely because I know the lottery machines gets locked when a draw has taken place, so like no one can buy tickets last minute and win. However, I have faith that this didn't apply to draws next week or any other draws. So I made my way down to co-op and um, yeah, the machines were locked. Right, can I get uh, you a millions for Friday, please? 19, 31, 29. Ah uh, man, I knew this was gonna happen. So as you may have heard, um, and the, the Euro Millions is basically temporary closed, and I have to do it tomorrow morning because the Tuesday draw just got it done now. So I'm about to buy a normal lottery ticket for the national lottery. But the only thing is, that the Euro Millions has seven numbers. The lottery has six. So I'm gonna have to draw the last number on, and just hope that no one clocks. Ah, uh, draw the last number on. Yeah, draw the last number. Like, am I a fucking idiot? Now, thankfully, I didn't go ahead in my stupid brain and think, let's draw the last number on with Biro, right? But instead, I thought I'd just flash the ticket at the screen quickly so no one could see the numbers and just hope that mine and Olivia's A star acting skills came into play here and made that a bit more believable. Right, you lot. I wouldn't tell anyone until you know, Johnny. <laughs> okay. I think. I think, like, like, I think I may have just won the lottery. This, I'm not gonna show you the Shut box. It. This, oh. I think I may have won the lottery. And uh, I then left it five minutes, went downstairs for a change of scenery, and acted like I'd been on the phone to them for like however long. Right, so I've just called them up, yeah, and I, I don't know, I, I, I don't believe it until. I don't believe <laughs> Uh, I, I don't, so basically, basically, I just called him up and then I got to go down to some place, I don't know fucking where, but I got to go and confirm that it's me that has a ticket. 
<laughs> this fucking ticket and uh <laughs> and uh yeah uh, fuck, I'm, I know people don't say go public and shit I'm but you lot are part of me innit like Look at this face here. This is the face of a man who has no confidence that this is gonna work. I mean, seriously, who's stupid enough to believe some random story of some guy who's won the lottery and he has, he has no evidence of it? You know, if you're sitting there watching, you're thinking to yourself, who, who would believe this? Why would you even attempt this? Then you know what? You'd be absolutely wrong. Literally so many people believed it. I don't know how, but the reaction I got was better than I even imagined. Like. So many of you believed it. Right, so I've just uploaded the second story, yeah? And people actually believe in me. People believe in me. Look, look, look this one say, did you win? Uh, really? Oh my God, uh, so happy for you. Apparently my acting was that good that even my own sister rang me up, convinced that I'd won millions on the lottery. Billy? You rang me. Are you bullshitting? No, I'm not, I'm being deadly serious. <laughs> I'm in a car now, I'm on the way to go get it. I don't know how much it is yet, but I've got like six numbers. Fuck off. I'm being serious. What the hell? I know. You're lying. I'm you not. You pay for our fucking holiday, mate. Listen, I'll pay for the holiday. I'll pay for... Congratulations, bro. <laughs> I'll pay for the holiday and I'll pay for staying in the villa. I'll get... We'll get a private jet there. What? Congratulations. Guess what as well? Why do you know? Shit! She ended it. Shit, now she's gonna tell everyone I've won a lottery. Oh, Shit! Fuck! Welcome to the Fuck! No! I called Tiffany. No! <laughs> Fucking hell, Johnny. Hello? Hello, why did your mum end the call? Because she she called your dad. Oh yeah, what's it? Um uh one extra thing as well. What? It's fake for a video. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking stupid! <laughs> you thought you was in the money, boy! Tony! I'm so over the moon! You get a penny! I'm joking. <laughs> now, to make it more believable, I thought I'd give out loads of money to subscribers. However, I don't have loads of money spare to give out. So I used my amazing hacker skills, aka Inspect Element or F12, and I changed my PayPal balance to make it look like I deposited 30k in there. I then put a story up letting everyone know that I'm gonna pick three DMs at random and I'm gonna give three people 10 grand each. All right, so I've just been to the place. Everything's been deposited, everything's been confirmed. Like, I can't stop smiling, but I'm gonna share it with you lot, yeah? So I gotta drive home in a minute. I've just got it back in my car from, I don't know, it's a blur, but I'm driving back in a minute. I'm gonna put 30 grand in my PayPal account and I'm gonna pick three random people that DM me from here until I get home and put that money in my PayPal account and I give three of you 10 grand each, yeah? Three of you are getting 10 Right, you look, the DMs have been flooding in, but these three lucky people, yeah, these three lucky people have just received 10K each. And you think this is fake? Let me just prove to you this ain't fake. Open it, look, 10K, look, there's no Photoshop, this is moving. Little did they know that this was all fake as well. Once again, I used Inspect Element to make it look like I'd sent 10 grand to three different people when realistically, nothing left my bank account. I then went on Photoshop and made two fake receipts for a person receiving 10 grand. I then sent these screenshots over to my mates Mason and Charlie and got them to use them in a fake DM. Now these were both perfect because they both had old accounts and they both changed their username so there was no connection there and also I had a spare old account which I don't use, so yeah, I used that as well. Did you send it? Did you send a DM? Oh yeah. I'm getting so many I can't find it man. That actually looks so real, that actually looks so real. <laughs> Shit. Like, what are you doing down your mic? Fucking hell, you got it down the back of your throat or something? That's a good phone that one. I then posted them DMs on my story and it's fair to say that my mates got a little bit harassed. <laughs> so my mate mates but my face is getting spam messages saying, Give me the 10k now, please. Give me 5k at least. Uh, uh, I gotta give it to myself though. I fooled a lot of people. Like, a lot of you believe this. So, I gotta pat myself on the back for that. But man, I just can't help but feel guilty. Then again, I'm a sick fucking hacker and troll. Yeah? Hit the like button right now if you would have been fooled by this. And if you was one of my Instagram followers and you got fooled by this, I don't know, Porkies. Yeah? Did you get full base? And this is only day one. Oh, this is only day one. We got a whole week of this coming. 
Right, day two of being a multi-millionaire. So today I thought we'd go into the old millionaire lifestyle in a subtle way, in a kind of, you know, just dip my tie in the water, yeah? We're not going to be buying no million pound mansions, we're not going to be getting private jets. What we are going to be doing is going on a massive shopping spree. Yeah, I know you don't have to be a millionaire to do this, but like I said, it's day two. We're dipping our toe in softly. Last night I'm dishing out 10 grand like that. Now we're going on a shopping spree up London. Now, obviously, I'm not actually going to go all the way up to London, all the way to Selfridges and Harvey Nicks, and actually buy clothes for the video. Because then, well, it wouldn't be fake. However, as many of you may know, I like my designer clothes. So I just happen to have a lot of designer bags. Now, I'm not talking about actual bags, like a rucksack. I'm talking about designer shopping bags. And the plan was to find as many of these as I could, fill them up with literally t-shirts from my wardrobe, make my way up to Selfridges, and take a picture outside, making it look like I've just been on a massive shopping spree. Also, just to put the chair on top of the cake, I wanted to get the champagne treatment. Now, if you don't know what the champagne treatment is, well, I don't blame you because I don't even fucking think it's called that. But basically, you see when celebrities or people with a lot of money go shopping up London, when they start spending a lot, the staff in them shops will give them free champagne. Get them a bit tipsy, make them buy more. I know it's fucked, but that's what happens. So I went into my cupboard, got a champagne flute, so I could post one of these stories once I was up Selfridges. I then put everything in one bag because I don't really fancy sitting on a train with 15 designer bags on me and they look empty. Bit weird. Hopped in my car, went to the train station and headed up London. Once up London, I met up my friend Mason so he could help me film. Then went up London and went to the nearest grocery store to get a bottle of apple tizer. However, luckily, M&S do a small bottle of Prosecco for all you little alcoholics out there. So we had a touch. touch. Oh, I came in here to get apple tizer. Oh. Why not? And she undercharged me. It was a fiver. She'd done it £3.80. Then we made our way to Selfridges, one of the biggest shopping centres in the UK, full of designer brands like Dior, Prada, D Squared, Burberry, Louboutin, but that's not what we're here for. We wasn't here to shop. So I headed into the toilet and filled up my champagne flute with a bit of nice Prosecco. I then left the toilet and then uploaded this to my Instagram story. Yeah, living lavish nowadays, yeah, getting champagne while I shop. And it's fair to say, you know, the money and this lifestyle was getting to my head a bit. And I started to view the price of things very differently. Sorry, sorry. Um, how much are these ones? Sorry? How much are these ones? Do you know? Uh, Oh, is that it? Yeah, you heard that right. I asked, is that it for a 500 pound pair of shoes? Cool, went to my nut a bit. But anyways, then we left Selfridges, I packed up the bags outside, and the realization suddenly hit me of what this could turn out like. How am I actually gonna upload this to my Insta? <laughs> How am I actually gonna upload this to my Insta? People are gonna think I'm fucking a cunt. No, I just got a really, really dickhead caption. Now, when I was taking the pictures, oh, there were so many people looking at me, cringing. I looked like such a melt. Taking pictures with bare bags outside. Ah! Oh. So what was one way around this? Pretend to be a Spanish tourist. I just got the biggest dickhead. <laughs> Spanish, I then took a couple of pictures and uploaded this to my Instagram. Right, so I've just got home, yeah? And I've just uploaded this picture to Instagram. And I've uh, put the caption as, lottery win got me feeling nice. <laughs> I'm going through the comments, so many people, how, how does everyone believe me? So many people believe me. So I'm geezer, but I can help you carry your shit around for 40k per hour. <laughs> there was the odd comment here that kind of clocked that it was faking. And yeah, but it, most of them, the majority of people thought it was real. Then when I got in, I wanted to do something a little extra, you know, give out some more money. So I messaged my mates and said they'd be down to send me a video of them saying thank you for giving them £10,000. And yeah, now we wait. Now these were YouTubers, yeah? Lazy, sleep patterns fucked, yeah? I didn't expect much. However, they actually all came in and sent me the video in time. But the reason you didn't see that video is because Instagram was fucking down. Instagram was down on Wednesday night, so now I can post any pictures or stories or even reply to comments. So, um, yeah, them stories didn't go up, but yeah, here they are. Listen, thank you so much for giving me £10,000. I know I put you through a lot, but I just want to say I appreciate it. Thank you that you think of me like that. Thank you, man. The broski Johnny Carey fam. Thank you so much. Honestly, I appreciate it, fam. Man sent me 10 bags, you know. You're mad. Honestly, bro, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, my G. Hey, thank you very much, Johnny, man, for the 10K, man. I really appreciate it, man. 
Thank you. <laughs> Bro, thank you, man. Legit. I don't know if you understand. Thank you for the money, man. Day three of being a millionaire. And I've woken up this morning, you know, I think I feel like buying a new car. Now, on day three, obviously the first car that came to my mind was a Lamborghini. However, after looking into it, it's just too much money to rent. And plus, there's complications with my insurance and stuff like that because of my age, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it wasn't really possible. So the second thing that came to my mind is the fact that my big brother has just bought a brand new Mercedes GLC. And it just so happened that my Mercedes had a service coming up anyway. So I had a reason to go there. So I hopped in my car, made my way down to Mercedes, and took these very, very convincing stories. Right, so I've just had my car service here. Yeah? Everything's sweet with the car. Now on my way to my brother's to act like I've bought a brand new GLA Mercedes, because he's got one. And plus, just put the chair on top of the cake, yeah? He's got a Rolex. We're gonna be putting that on my wrist. And uh, yeah, see how that one pans out for the Instagram story. Bro, a Rolex as well. So now we're gonna have a 50 grand car and a brand new Rolex. Just gets better, doesn't it? Then when we got to my brother's, we unloaded the car from any rubbish and that to make it look brand new. He also had it cleaned for me before it came up, so loved him for that. And uh, yeah, these are the stories that you would have seen on my Instagram. Right, now as you saw, yeah, I was in Mercedes and you're probably thinking, now you've got millions, now you won the lottery, why don't you get a Lambo, why don't you get something out? But now Range Rovers, Porsche Jeeps, Mercedes Jeeps, they're my cup of tea. So I've gone with this, yeah, what do you lot reckon of this? Boom, new GLE, GLC, sorry. What about this car, banging whip? Yeah? You, you, you believe, you believe that, don't you? I then got inside the car and decided to take stories inside. Just to make it that bit more realistic, you know, just so in case people think, oh no, you're just videoing your neighbour's car or something. Start, stop engine. Cool, what are we talking? Look at that, man. Is the key there. Cool. This car whips. I then thought I'd get all deep and emotional with Uala inside the car while with a 12 gram Rolex on my wrist and made sure to brag as humbly as I could. It's actually mad man, like I'm not even like trying to cross like I'm bragging or nothing because it's pure luck that like, I didn't earn this money, like it, it, it's pure luck and it's like I never, I never thought someone could actually like, do you know what I mean? It's like a dream minute. it's like what the fuck, like I went into Mercedes, bought this 50 bags, just like that, yeah? And I treat myself to something else as well. 50 bags. Seriously, I ain't got none. <laughs> Check this. What do you not think of this, yeah? 12 racks and a Rolex. Yeah? Go on, I'm not even trying to brag like I've earned the money, I ain't. But tell me that ain't hard, yeah? I ain't gonna be a dick at about it. You know I was sharing 10 grand with you lot the other day. You know, in the future, I'll probably share more of this with you. But look, man, I'm just so happy, yeah? And the, the new GLC. Come on, man. Don't worry, yeah? I ain't stopping on a YouTube game. Think about the vlogs I can do now. Do you know what I'm thinking? I think we can book a flight to Bahamas today or tomorrow and go stay in a fuck off villa. Yeah, and vlog that. What are you like saying? We're fucking lying to everyone. <laughs> Now, day four wasn't actually day four. It was actually just later that evening. But I'm going away today, so I needed to do it yesterday because otherwise I wouldn't have had time to edit and I would have to wait another week for upload. But yeah, remember earlier in the day when I said I might book a flight to Bahamas? Do you know what I'm thinking? I think we can book a flight to Bahamas today or tomorrow and go stay in a fuck off villa. Yeah, and vlog that. Well, that's exactly what I planned on doing. However, I'm rich now, yeah? I'm above everyone else. I'm not poor. I can't be sitting in economy class. I've got to be at least flying business. However, I ain't got the money for a business class flight but it just so happens that Tommy Mallet here from TOWIE has got a lovely little picture on his Instagram of him on a business class flight and this looked extremely photoshoppable then me and my girlfriend got to work trying to take the perfect picture basically trying to put myself in his angles and you know make it look like I was in his position I then loaded up the pictures to Photoshop and started working my magic now I ain't a pro at Photoshop or nothing you know I'm self-taught but I thought how hard can it be all I have to do is change the color in a bit cut myself out you know I've got this in the bag now Whilst all this was happening, I posted this on my story, which is from a while back when I went to Tenerife, just to give people a bit of backstory to let them know that I'm at the airport now. And after finally touching things up in Photoshop, <laughs> this was the final product. <laughs> right, so this right now is the moment of truth. We got the normal one, yeah, you'll see it on screen, and the black and white one. Now, see the black and white one, it kind of looks better because you can't tell the colour difference, but the normal one. Oh man, none, none of them look perfect. None of them look like. Uh, from like here, it kind of looks. No, it doesn't, no. I think this will be the decider that'll make people start thinking it's fake and start people clocking on. 
Ah, oh, looks so fake. I'm gonna go. In, yeah, I'm gonna go in a coloured one. Ah. Oh! All right, all right. It's going up. It's going up. Oh, people are definitely gonna clock. People are definitely gonna clock. Hundred percent. People are gonna clock. No one's commented yet. Three comments. Let's check them. Mad how you won the lottery looks genuine. I don't know if that's sarcasm, but but someone believes me. Someone believes me, right? That looked Photoshop when I first looked. Oh, he still believes it. Sinisky's a four, like literally said, a four look Photoshop, but because I'm such a good actor, yeah, and everyone believes that I'm actually a millionaire now, he just told himself, well, it can't be Photoshop because Johnny's a millionaire. <laughs> people believe it. How are people believe in this? How are you not believing this? This looks so fake. Mad how you won the lottery looks genuine. Oh my god, have a good time. Mad, lend us a fiver. Mad, legend, love my ass off, subtle flex. That looked Photoshop when I first looked. Okay, so some people are clocking on now. So fake, 100% real. But is it me or does this look Photoshop? Photoshop, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck this whole thing is a prank? But, but, but still, still, uh, some people, some of you are still dumb enough to think this is real. How did you think that was real? Come on. Yeah, now people are clocking on now. People are, people are clocking on. Mate, I knew it was a prank from the start. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, mate. Everyone believe me. So that all happened last night. And if you didn't know, a flight to Bahamas takes around nine to 10 hours. So today being the next day, Friday, I thought I'd post a little story that I got off someone else's Instagram to show that, yeah, I've arrived. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Now, before you go, I do actually want to give you a lot of chance to win some money. You you know, because the support I got when I won the lottery, before even I announced I was giving away 10 grand each, was so sick. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot different. You lot supported me so much and said I deserved it. Like, no one deserves to win. It's pure luck. So I thought, you know what? I will give you lot something back. Now, obviously, I can't give 30 grand out because I just don't have that money. But I will be giving 50 pound out to three of you. I know it's like big drop down but it's something in it i don't have to do this but like i just want to anyway i know a lot of youtubers give up 50 pound gift cards but i think you lot would rather cash in it so yeah all you have to do to enter to win this 50 quid is make sure you go follow me on instagram go like my recent picture i don't know what picture it will be it's friday right now so whatever my recent picture is by the time this uploads go like that and also drop me a dm saying keza army for life and then the day this video goes out i'll be going through my dms and selecting three of you to give you 50 pound like i said i know it's not a lot but, yeah, I just wanted to do something. Big thank you as well to my mate Mason for helping me out in this video. Go follow his Instagram there. It's a double underscore. Also, big thank you to Charlie for helping me out as well. Go follow his meme account right there. I'm telling you, he posts fresh content in there. Some of the stuff you won't see in other meme accounts. I'm not just saying that. Big thank you to everyone else that helped out in this video. All their links will be in the description. Subscribe today to join the Kezra Army. Let's see if we can smash 20,000 likes on this video. Smash the like button right now if you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, goodbye.